Good afternoon. This is Alicio with Life Choices. If you haven't liked, subscribed to this channel, feel free to go ahead and do so now. We have some really important news coming you here on this article. Let's get to it. Welcome, welcome. We have here an article from Freight Waves letting us know the bankrupt Saladin receives 14.5 million bid for Taylor Express. White Willow Holdings 14.5 million bid sets the floor price of the January 22nd auction to sell off Taylor Express. This article is from Clarissa Hawes, reported Friday, January 17, 2020. We have some good news, so let's go ahead and keep rolling. White Willow of New Fields, New Hampshire, is backed by Illuminous Management LLC, a New York investment firm that tried to help Saladin financially. Illuminous acquired nearly 50% of Saladin in August 2019 after injecting $165 million to help the struggling carrier refinance its debt as part of its restructuring plan just months before the now defunct company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, bankruptcy protection on December 9th. White Willow's stocking horse bid is an initial bid that sets the floor price of the auction for the sale of Taylor Express. Saladin purchased the regional carrier for $43 million in January 2015. The auction to sell off Taylor Express is set for January 22nd. According to the court documents filed in the U.S. Bankruptcy Court for the District of Delaware, we hope to have a fulsome and robust auction for the sale of the Taylor Express business. Saladin Bankruptcy Attorney Stuart A. Brown of DLA Piper told Freight Waves. Taylor Express, founded in 1987, operates about 169 power units and has 161 drivers. According to the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration's Safer website, it is the only Saladin subsidiary still operating after its bankruptcy filing. Saladin filed for bankruptcy, bankruptcy three days after two former executives were indicted in a leaked complex securities and accounting fraud scheme that cost the truckloading logistics company's shareholders more than $60 million. Federal officials also ordered Saladin to pay shareholders $44.2 million in restitutions in April 2019 after the company's stock plummeted as a result of the company's financial scandal. Rumors swirled on social media that the carrier was in financial straits after Freightways broke the news on December 6th that the company planned to file for bankruptcy. Some former employees said there was little communication among company executives, employees, and drivers about what to do when deactivated fuel cards left truckers stranded thousands of miles from home. In conclusion, Saladin will be receiving $14.5 million for Taylor Express, based on the bidding war. They should be in the lookout for any cash buyers for any assets that they may continue to hold. So be on the lookout if you're looking to buy any used semi trucks, they should be able to get you guys a good deal. Again, here with Life Choices, like, subscribe, comment.